Hey everyone, it's Kenji, and I'm going to show you the best way to toast a bagel. So, uh, my friend sent me these bagels from New York. Um, I'm originally from New York, so I have strong feelings on bagels. Um, these are H&H. &H. Um, I wouldn't say I am... Um, I'm saying, you know, a lot of people look at here, see what I write about bagels and uh, say that maybe I'm overly passionate about them. I wouldn't say I'm that passionate about them, um, but I'm also not dispassionate about them. So I got a whole bagel. I dipped it in water. Now I'm going to toast it whole. And that's the trick. I'm going to go for about six minutes here. That's the trick, toasting them whole. You see, you see, bagels, when they're fresh out of the oven um, at a bakery, you know, and, and, and growing up in New York, you know, having a bagel shop that baked bagels fresh to order was not an uncommon thing. It isn't uncommon in a lot of other parts of the country. But um, I grew up going to Columbia Bagels, which was on like 120th, uh, 110th and Broadway up near where I lived. Um, that's not no longer around, but there's still plenty of uh, fresh bagel shops in New York. So when a bagel is fresh out of the oven, you know, like less than, say, two hours out of the oven, um, it has this quality where it's very has a very sort of thin crispy shell on the outside sort of like eggshell thin um, and a chewy dense but moist interior um, and any longer than that out of the out of the oven and it kind of kind of loses that quality it doesn't have that contrast anymore um, and that's a contrast that's a contrast that's really difficult to capture so what what a lot of people end up doing is they'll split their split their bagel in half um, and then they'll toast it. Um, and you know, when I was growing up, bagel, did, bagel shops did not even have toasters. And then the idea of toasting a bagel after it was split was completely foreign to me. I think I saw, first saw that when I moved to Boston, um, when I was a teenager, uh, for, for college. Um, the idea of toasting a bagel was foreign to me. Because, um, and you know, I, I sort of get it because unless you're getting your bagels fresh, um, you know, a, a stale bagel is not very good to eat. Um, but what I, you know, I, what I call toasting, I, toasting is what I refer to as the, as the, um, the bagel equalizer, because what it does is it takes even a mediocre bagel, the, the greatest bagel in the world and the, meat, and the most mediocre bagel, um, end up being kind of similar once you toast them, because, you know, a great bagel has that contrast between the outside and the inside, the crispiness and the chewiness, whereas a uh, toasted bagel is just kind of chewy all over. Um, so even the best bagel in the world ends up tasting pretty similar to a mediocre bagel, which is fine. You know, it all ends up tasting good, I guess. But I think if you're going to get a, uh, if you're going to get a great bagel, say, have someone send you some from New York or, or Montreal, um, or if you happen to have a very good local bagel shop that you can go to, um, then you really want to kind of maximize that, that, uh, that contrast. Um, so what... Toasting it whole like this does is that's what it gets you. It recrisps the outside, um, retenderizes the inside, and it gets you that um, you know not exactly the same as freshly baked, but it gets you like 90% of the way there. Um, and the uh, dipping it in water thing, um, I learned that from my buddy um, Dan Pashman at the Sporkful. Uh, what that does is that it makes sure that your bagel doesn't get too dry on the outside before it heats through in the middle. Um, so the water kind of mitigates uh, the formation of a really hard thick kind of crusty crust on the outside um so you end up with that kind of eggshell thin crispiness um the other the other bagel trick is if you like scallion cream cheese which i do um mix your scallions in fresh don't buy the don't buy the stuff that has the scallions or chives already mixed in because those are either dry and reconstituted and not very flavorful or they've turned brown you really want fresh scallions um you can make you know you can make scallion cream cheese a day or two ahead and it still tastes great in fact it starts to taste a little bit better i think as the scallion flavor kind of permeates but um at the very least make it fresh all right are we almost done bagel all right we got three minutes so i am going to now do a time lapse of this um the little camera face in the oven so i can show you what the end result is all right you guys ready All right, we got about 30 seconds left here. Um, this, this, by the way, this technique, it reminds me of when, um, when I was at Series Seats and we did a bagel taste test of um, all the best bagels in New York. And the big issue that we ran into was that it was almost impossible to fairly taste bagels side by side because by the time someone picked up a bagel and brought it back to the Series Seats office for tasting, which took about 30 minutes, um, 
the difference in quality from the time it was fresh out of the oven till the time it was back at the office made it really impossible to judge how good the bagel was going to be right at the spot, right, you know, right at the shop, right when you got it. And that was the big issue that we ran into. I think uh, my colleague then, Aaron um, Zimmer, referred to it as the Heisen Bagel Uncertainty Principle. Anyway, here, here we go. Look, so you see how nice and toasty it's gotten on the outside and it's picked up some of these little teeny micro blisters, um, which I think are what you know the sign of a great bagel or um are those micro blisters because that's that gives you extra surface area and extra crunch and now i'm gonna now only now am i going to split it by the way if you go to a bagel shop um i've never been turned down on this request you can just ask them to do this for you say can you put it in the toaster hole before you slice it um and every shop i've ever been to has done that for me some of them are a little bit confused by it but you just say and and they'll double check you really you don't want to slice it first and you say no just put it in whole and they'll do it for you and your bagel order will come out much better i promise everything bagel with scallion cream cheese that's my go-to order My wife does a raisin bagel with scallion cream cheese, which, which, you know, I respect her decision to do that. It's actually surprisingly, surprisingly good. The sweet and sweet and savory thing. This, this is an H and H bagel, by the way. I think um, my friend sent them to me to me via Gold Belly, which is an online food delivery shipping thing. Um, H and H are great. All right, a perfectly properly toasted everything bagel with freshly mixed scallion cream cheese. It's hard to beat that. I'm sure you hear that. That little crispness on the outside. It's not crunchy, but it's crisp, which is what a bagel should be, I think. Mm. Hey, you guys want a teeny bit of crispy bagel? Here you go, sit. Good girl. All right. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Happy breakfast.